Hey guys and girls and welcome to my first video. The other day I was scrolling through the YouTubes and I found a video of a guy who had um, attached his Xeon Crane 2 to a monopod and gone around town doing some pretty cool cinematic shit. While I did really like the video, I felt like it only really touched the iceberg of what kind of shots we could do and I felt like we could go out and actually do a few better. That being said, I haven't actually touched my camera in over a year because I've been so busy doing photography, so yeah, if that's not evident from this footage of us trying to get the audio to work. And group icon. Oh, okay. Close no. Look out, that's a, that's, that's a big windsock. You're a big windsock. Hmm. <laughs> So to do this, I enlisted the help of my DOP friend Connor, and we went out to see how many of the shots we could recreate, and maybe if we could do any of them better. Uh, unfortunately for me, Connor made it very clear that uh, he would not be doing anything until he was fed. Um, I want Korean food. Korean food. Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. Okay. You see, the problem with Connor is that he needs to eat every 75 minutes to keep his big bulky muscles and tiny mind in check. And for whatever reason, he had his mind set on Korean food. Unfortunately for him, I didn't know where to find any. I'm kind of here. And I don't think it's here. Oh, it's so oh dude! Oh, they do salads? <laughs> nice. You gotta go to a burger place and get a salad. Mm, That's yeah. like going to a prostitute for a hug. Is that, is that bad? I mean, I do it. Anyway, back to the point of this video. Once we got back to my place, we threw on my Ronin S onto my monopod and headed out to see what shots we could and couldn't recreate. First one we did was the character introduction made in the video where we start off at the character's feet and then come up towards the eyes. You need a pretty high f-stop when you're working on shots like this unless you've got like a follow focus kit or something like that, which we did not. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, why some of our shots look uh, garbage. So moving on to the second shot, we tried to recreate the top-down bird's eye view that he created in the video using the gimbal like a boom pole. What we found while playing around with this shot is that if we pulled back a little and angled the camera a little bit more, we created this almost video game-like aesthetic that on the 14mm that we were shooting on, it just looked a lot nicer in the area that we were and the sweeping motions that it created when characters would turn. While this was completely different from the video, it uh, was quite a nice find and uh, I was quite happy with it. So, funny story actually, while we were out filming this, a couple of guys came up to us and started giving us crap for being film students, and uh, yeah, we just kind of like played along and skedaddled out of there as quickly as possible. But it gave me quite a good reason to give crap to Connor for still technically being at uni. Sean, you just said we were students. We're not students anymore! <laughs> How do you expect people to take us seriously? Do you, do you go to university? Uh, no, I work there. Yeah, so you go to a university? Uh, I, sure. Yeah, so you work at a university. Yes. Uh, do you attend classes there? No. Are you? Yeah. No, what I about don't. that Joel, uh, Joel Trainoff one? Oh, that was a workshop. Okay, so you attend workshops there. I, Are you a teacher? Are you a lecturer? No. So you're a student? Well, I sort of am. Well, no, I can, no I'm not. I definitely am not. But, no, fuck you. I'm not a student. <laughs> I think my favorite part of the setup is just the accessibility. You have something up high that you want to shoot, bam, just pull it out like a boom pole, get that shot. You want to film something down low but don't want to hurt your back or knees, bam, flip it over, just extend it out, hold your arm out. That was actually just the best part of this gimbal setup. What I found was it was also just a lot more stable. Like the gimbal itself is stable, but I found that even just the slightest shake of my hands still managed to get through to the footage and with this extra grip it just seemed to help create these smoother motions that I just couldn't do before. As the day was concluding and um, Connor disappeared to go take photos or something, I'm not sure what he does in his free time, probably eat. I was feeling pretty happy with the shots I had got and I decided to head on home. 
Was I able to recreate all the shots from the video? <laughs> Absolutely not. But I got some amazing shots on the day and they're just something that I can be proud of.